Hey everybody and welcome to your Thursday sports page. We begin with DeMatha, where the defending WCAC champs started week one of the high school football season on a rough note. They lost to Archbishop Wood, but coach Elijah Brooks says it was a learning experience. You know, we're definitely working to prepare uh, for league play. Uh, you know, we got, you know, start off the season on a, on a rough note um, up in Pennsylvania, but we're looking to rebound this Friday against St. Mary's Riken. You said you guys struggled in week one. Can you tell me what you learned? You know, I, I definitely learned that, uh, you know, as a team, um, we can execute a lot better. Um, you know, there, there were times in which we didn't take advantage of opportunities. Uh, so, you know, these are all things that I know that our, our guys will build on, but I, I saw that we, we will fight. Um, but we just have to uh, work on execution. The guys that left, you know, that's motivating me to build a camaraderie some of the, with some of the new guys that we have. That's the biggest thing and the biggest key to win a, to win a championship again, a repeat. Being here at DeMatha um, and our tradition of success, we, we know what it means. Uh, so each and every year we know we're going to be a target and uh, we're working to prepare, uh, you know, each day and be better. And their next test will be tomorrow against St. Mary's Riken. Now to college football. The Bowie State Bulldogs home opener is this Saturday against St. Anselm College. It's an out of conference matchup, but an important one that will set the tone for the rest of the season. Football is football. This gives us an opportunity to play against another team in our region that may not, that's not in our conference, but uh, they're from a very competitive conference and this really helps you when you talk about playoff rankings and everything else. Um, I think we've looked pretty good so far. We have a pretty experienced group coming back. A uh, few new guys in the secondary, which uh, Saturday is going to be a good test for us because St. Isaac would like to throw the ball a lot. So, But the good thing about it is we have, we have a, vid, a really veteran def defensive line. And as long as those guys do a good job of getting pressure, it should take some of the pressure off of our defensive backs. We have experience now. I mean, we had some guys last year that were freshmen that were playing. And um, this year those guys are now sophomores and or rich are sophomores. And they're flying around and, and communicating. We also we picked up a couple of coaches that I think that's going to help us out on the uh, defensive side of the ball as well. Uh, Coach Coleman, you know, he, he's a guy that's going to going to help us. And, and Coach Grant, we moved him from D line to linebackers. Uh, we just want to be better. Um, last year, you know, for the first time uh, under my tenure, I would say the defense was probably uh, the weakest part of, of the team in terms of offense, defense, special teams. So we're we're highly motivated in terms of that. Everything we've been reading has been talking about. You know how much we gave up on the average last year, and you know how the defense has to get better. And I think we've taken that personally. You know, not only as coaches but as players. And those guys have definitely prepared from going back to the spring. You know, um, they they prepared and, and and played with that chip on their shoulder. So that's definitely you know our goal is, is just to be a lot better. You know, we, we we have signs up in our offices and in the locker room that says, "Did you get better today?" And so that's that's our main goal is to make sure that each day we're getting better than we were the previous day. All right, and good luck to Bowie State. A few things to know before I go. The effort to bring the 2024 Olympics, as we mentioned earlier, it took another big step today. A local nonprofit led by Russ Ramsey and Ted Leonsis launched a website called DC 2024. Boston, LA, San Francisco, all potential hosts for that. In college hoops, the Atlantic 10 announced it will hold its men's basketball tournament at the Verizon Center in 2018. In soccer, DC United midfielder Chris Rolfe is out six weeks with a fractured left forearm. And in Major League Baseball, after dominating the Dodgers out west, the Washington Nationals start a weekend series with the Phils. Meanwhile, the Orioles look to sweep Cincinnati tonight. First pitch there is 7.05. Now remember that CTV Sports is looking for nominations for Prince George's County High School Athlete of the Week. Nominees should excel not only in athletics, but also in academics, civic leadership, and community service. If you have a nomination, please contact Chris Marks at cmarks at pgctv.org. And that is your Thursday sports page.